cup takes your mind off the league form. The early league game down at uh, the Emirates was, you know, Everton going there and having a really good chunk of the, the ball, more than maybe any other side that's been at the Emirates. Um, I think just showing how far Everton had come on, but it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, really tough in this one. And uh, whoever gets through this, I think, has got a good chance of, of winning the trophy. It's vitally important for Everton more than it is for Arsenal. Because I think then they can start looking maybe the following year that it could be top four. Um, you know, Arsenal are a good side. You know, that, uh, you know, but they have, they have been missing certain people this year as well. You know, it's any time of the year, they've never really had a full side out there. So to where they are and what they've achieved at the moment is really good to what squad they've had available to every game that they've played. We can imagine if they get every fit player fit and the strongest scene out there, they're going to be a tough nut to crack. I can see this one going to maybe a draw and a replay. It's 30 years since uh, Everton won the trophy. What are your memories of that day? A long time ago. That's all I remember is, uh, yeah, I've, the build-up was completely different than maybe the, the build-up they have these days, but it was, uh, you know, fantastic thing to play in uh, to wake up in the morning and um, you know just the buzz of supporters being around and just seeing them coming from all sorts of places um, on that day we had a, a celeb with us uh, Freddie Starr performing outside the bedroom window at 8 o'clock in the morning so uh, that was a nice sort of uh, early morning call um, and uh, good to relax and sort of take your mind off of, you know not get as nervous maybe Lucky enough, we'd had the experience of playing at Wembley before in a, in a final in, in the League Cup against Liverpool. So, you know, the experience of that, I actually think, settled us a little bit. What, you know, we, we knew what to expect. You know, it was one of their matches that, you know, we, we were favourites. Um, but he also remember certain things that might change things in the game. And I think John Barnes had gone past a couple of people, shot past Neville, who was going in. Um, John Bailey got back and got a touch on the ball and it went out for a corner. Referee didn't see the touch and give us a goal kick. The Watford were just getting on top that at that moment. and uh, They had a decent side and uh, I, I think it would have been a lot closer. I think if it was uh, Will Frost and the, the captain would have been playing, but he was suspended. Early on in the season I was a little bit sort of concerned, but then comes deadline day and we bring in three important players, McCarthy, um, Barry and, and Lukaku. And really, that's really transformed the side. It's pushed us on to that next level. Um, if you look at the side, I think the, the nucleus of the side was already there. You know, everything on the outside, it's just the middle bit that's actually, you know, made us better. The, the three midfield players that play uh, and the striker that we've got up front, that, that is the difference. I think we've got more of a creative midfield team now than we've had. Ross Barkley have given that sort of freedom in midfield, whereas I think under Dave, I think he played right or left and not really central. Um, I know he's a lot younger and really was learning the game, but he's gone out on loan a couple of times, come back. Roberto's had the faith in him to play him from the start of the season and I think he's repaid Roberto you know, in, the, in the way that Roberto wants. You know, he's one of these, these players that, you know, young players that most probably got an opportunity of going to Brazil. And I'm a great believer if he doesn't go to Brazil, then England should take him in some capacity, you know, at the age that he is, that he's going to be an England player in the future. So if he's not initially in the squad, then to take him just to give him an experience of a World Cup, just like the lad Shaw uh, and other players around about that age. If you look at it now, that Arsenal most will be slight favourites. I think if Everton can get a draw and take him back to Goodison, I think it'd be the other way around then. I think Everton would be slight favourites to go through because they've, they've done a job, but the one thing you can't do is then take that for granted. Um, but I don't think any of the teams, especially Everton, won't be going into this game thinking that they want to go and just get a draw. I think if you go out there and try and win it and then get a draw, then uh, you know that's that's what you need. There's quite a few big teams gone out already. Could this be Everton's year? Got to get through this one. If we get through this one, I don't see why not.